Today, I was reading from page 44 to 48 of the book, Mini Habits, Smaller Habits, Bigger Results. And in this part, um, the, the pages state how effective willpower when building up a habit and to be a better, of, a better version of yourself. So motivation is not bad at all, but it is unreliable. On the other hand, motivation comes fast when you take action first. And this is why willpower is far better. Willpower is reliable. Willpower can be strengthened. Willpower uh, strategies can be scheduled. So let's summarize what science tells us about willpower and take it from here. First of all, willpower uh, decision to understand that Will, willpower can be trained if you have to face with the hard decisions. There is a survey conducted by Bo Meister in 1996. So they put 67 people in a room. In a room, uh, half of them were given fresh, uh, very delicious baked uh, chip cookies, and the other half are given with a radish to snack. Uh, so it is kind of a very cruel survey because people must fight themselves for the, when they look at, when they eat radish and they look at the cookies, it's so delicious and it is so tempting. And after that, um, these people were gave, given the puzzles to make, to, to deal with a puzzle. And the people who are having uh, cookies, uh, they have a higher chance of success compared with the people who eat radish. It is like an ego depletion. So the, de the hard decisions really change the willpower. Some meta-analysis of willpower have been conducted and uh, five biggest factors found to cause ego depletion were effort, perceived difficulty, negative, affect subtractive fatigue and blood glucose level. So when we understand how the willpower work and we know that willpower is very effective in use in building a habit, we can know how to improve it. So to recap on the basic theory before I jump to the mini habit strategy tomorrow, there's something about motivation and willpower that we need to take into consideration. New and unhappy behaviors are started by using motivation or willpower. Motivation isn't reliable, so we shouldn't use it. Willpower is more reliable, but if you, if you are not careful, you can run out of it. There are five main causes of willpower depletion, effort, perceived difficulty, negative effect, uh, subtractive subtractive fatigue and blood glucose levels. If we can successfully overcome these five hurdles, we should find success.